It's great to be here, everyone. So hello and good morning. My name is Wendy John, and I'm the head of global diversity and inclusion at Fidelity Investments. And my pronouns are she, her, and hers. I'm thrilled to be joining you today from my home in the state of North Carolina, although I'm sure we all would love to be in the convention center. But this opportunity taking it virtual allows many others who would not have been able to attend in person to join in with us. Before you think I've stumbled into the wrong Zoom webinar, I wanted to clarify that yes, you heard that right. I'm here from Fidelity Investments. You may be wondering what in the world a DNI leader from a financial services company is doing amongst the inspiring open source speakers you'll hear from this morning. And the first reason is this, we are not just a FinServe company. We also like to think of ourselves as a technology company. We spend billions annually on technology. That spend covers everything from customer platforms to tools that help us collaborate to building virtual reality experiences to help onboard new employees. Firm-wide, 25% of our employees work in technology. And in North Carolina, home to all things open, 60% of our employees are technologists. You heard me right, 60% of my fellow colleagues in North Carolina are not financial advisors, not customer service reps, but people like you who build technology. We pride ourselves on having an innovation culture built around continuous development and a growth mindset. Our employees participate in our blockchain club, join our women in technology special interest group, and get involved with Fidelity Labs, our incubation lab for new ideas. We have a long history of investing in the cutting edge with recent commitments around cryptocurrency and blockchain and exciting collaborations like our quantum computing efforts with AWS. Fidelity is always creating. In fact, we hold 259 patents on a variety of topics, a great testament to our consistent focus on innovation. One area specifically around open collaboration is our work to release more of our machine learning efforts as open source. These have been focused on making common algorithms available and also for creating more simplified interfaces for frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch. You'll hear more about our open source approach and efforts from my colleagues, Justin Ratcliffe and Sachin Solkan in their respective sessions at All Things Open. Okay, so now we know why Fidelity is here today, but what does inclusion and diversity have to do with technology and more specifically open source. Everyone attending today's event is on the hook for co-creating something innovative. You sit on teams and manage projects that create tools and platforms that improve people's lives, maybe even in ways they haven't asked for yet. The connection between diversity and inclusion, innovation and profitability has been proven. Here are a few data points to ground us all. McKinsey's 2019 analysis found that companies in the top quartile for gender diversity on executive teams were 25% more likely to have above average profitability. And this goes even further for ethnic diversity, where companies in the top quartile of ethnic diversity outperform others by 36%. And this holds true for times of uncertainty like we're in right now. Several reports showed that in 2008's global financial crisis, banks with a higher share of women on their boards were more stable than their peers. Although we all know that diversity and inclusion is important, technology and other industries like financial services remains largely white and male. Since June of this year, there's been a larger spotlight on the importance of diversity and inclusion. There's tremendous energy around these topics and how it applies in all that we do. People want to take action, but often don't know where to start. It's the same problem that has stalled this work for decades. Sometimes it just feels too big to solve. At Fidelity, we approach diversity and inclusion a little differently with a behaviors-based approach that taps into the science of habit change. We have a concept called simple starts which prompts our employees to make adjustments to the behaviors and business processes that make up their day-to-day -day work. By focusing on behaviors within your immediate control, 
rather than trying to shift an entire organization's culture all at once, we see incremental changes that add up significantly over time. Our concept may be called simple starts, but there's nothing simple about the work of diversity and inclusion. It's a complicated ingrained problem that can't be solved overnight. Getting started though can be a lot simpler with some of the ideas that I'll share with you today. I'm gonna cover a few simple starts in three distinct categories. Team management and dynamics, everyday pivots, and of course, technology. Since open source is all about coming together on collaborative teams to create and build, let's start with team, dynam team management and dynamics. Here are a few simple behavioral changes you can implement on your teams today. Rotate work assignments on your team regularly, including team housework like note-taking or meeting scheduling and higher profile projects versus only going to the well-known few members of your team. Set team members up with mentors or sponsors with different backgrounds to expand their view of the world. Encourage participation or development of employee resource groups or ERGs. At Fidelity, we have six ERGs and four special interest groups. More than half of our employees participate in at least one of these groups and some participate in three or more. Consider starting affinity groups if your organization does not yet have them. These groups provide ready access to diverse thoughts and perspectives. They can serve as focus groups, talent pools, and or business partners in your work. Audit the membership of your team. Seek participation and contribution from a diverse set of people. And when an underrepresented person leaves your team, dig into understanding the why in case there are changes that need to be made. Reconsider your team participation criteria. Balance the need for specific skills like coding, which can be taught, with the value of fresh perspectives, which might be impossible to teach. At Fidelity, we have a few programs focused on non-traditional sources of talent in technology. Fidelity Made introduces associates from traditionally non-technical roles in the enterprise to apply their business experience to tech problems. And we partner with ReachHire to provide career paths for a diversity of life situations. Now let's talk about everyday pivots. These are changes that everyone can make regardless of their role on a team or in an organization to be more inclusive. And they span across work life and home life. It's difficult to influence one without the other. And what's the difference, especially these days? You're here with me in my home. Language matters, so pay careful attention to the words you use. Use pronouns in your introductions to create safety for others to share how they identify. Use more inclusive terms. For example, stop using guys as a way to refer to mixed groups of people and look for something that might be a little more gender neutral, like folks. We use that a lot here in the South of, of, of US. Capitalize the B in black in your writing when referring to black people or communities. For the open source community, eliminate te terminology like whitelist, blacklist, or master slave, and consider alternatives for other gendered language. Monitor your information diet. This means paying careful attention that the books you read, podcasts you listen to, and the shows you view aren't all created by people with the same backgrounds or perspectives. Demand a seat at the table and bring someone new along with you where or when possible. For the women in the audience, make sure you're representing the work you've done. Don't be shy or self-deprecating when sharing your accomplishments. Overall, exposing ourselves to new thoughts, ideas, approaches, and people makes us all better. And as a result, we create better products and solutions. And last, but certainly not least, technology. The good news is that due to advancements developed by technologists like you, we, the humans, don't have to do this all on our own. Here are a few ways we can use tech to help us create more diverse and inclusive workplaces. Use artificial intelligence to audit the language and job descriptions. At Fidelity, we run our jobs through a tool that scans for bias language. 
It takes about six minutes per roll, but has greatly improved the number of female applicants we receive. Meet diverse people where they are. Implement processes that post all of your open jobs to a variety of diverse online job boards. Remember that data isn't the end all and be all. My friend and leading AI ethicist and AI activist Renee Cummings reminded us in a recent talk at Fidelity that there's no such thing as raw data. The data points we use to build technology often comes with built-in bias because it originates from an environment where racism is systemic and stereotypes have been baked in for centuries. Ensure you're evaluating all of the components into your technology solutions for bias and engage diverse stakeholders throughout. You'll hear more from another of my colleagues, Melinda Thielbar, on our approach to AI bias and mitigation at Fidelity. Invest in places to come together online. Of course, the open source community has been practicing true online collaboration for years, for example, at the Linux Foundation. COVID-19 has exemplified the importance of creating virtual spaces for people to gather and share ideas. Ensure these online spaces are accessible and open to all using tools like live closed captioning. As I shared those three categories, doesn't it sound a lot like people, processes, and technology? a framework many of you are already familiar with. I hope that these simple starts I shared today can help you and your teams get started. If you've already started, perhaps I've given you a few new ways to continue the journey. It can be easy to let the problem paralyze you, that analysis paralysis we all know. Our country's diversity and inclusion challenges may feel too big to solve if you zoom out. So focus on zooming in and get started. Zoom in and shift from trying to change the world or your company to changing three to four behaviors on the teams where you contribute. Progress against diversity and inclusion is a lot like open source in that way. Most of us will not unveil a shiny new product or solution to the problem. This is something we will all build together, right out in the open, bringing the best of ourselves to contribute. And the first few attempts might not be perfect, but with some iteration, we can create transparent solutions that amount to real change. Thank you all for the time and enjoy the rest of this year's All Things Open.